All right, in today's Food as Medicine, it's part three of our fertility and pregnancy series. Krista Arecchio from thewholejourney.com and Willow Buckley from balancingyourhealth.com. They're here to boost your nutrition and help you stay healthy in the last phase of pregnancy and even beyond. Ladies, good to see you. Good to see nice you to too. See you. Okay, so you all wrote a book together about achieving a successful and healthy pregnancy mm -hmm. after 30. Is this you right here, Willow, on the cover? Yes. Get out, look there at you go. Look at you go, girl. Um, let's start first, Krista, with, with how we need to change our diets, especially in the last phase of pregnancy to get ready to, to have a healthy baby. Right, so in the last phase, which we've talked about preconception and what do you do in the first two trimesters, right. and then the last phase is the most important because it's gonna determine how postpartum is, how much you enjoy first three months of baby's life. Right. So the most important things is to make sure you keep your nutrition up and have enough protein and healthy fat. So don't go f towards empty calories. If you're hungry, go towards protein and healthy fat and you wanna shoot for 70 grams of protein a day. Okay. So that's a really important number to shoot for. We've got pasture raised eggs. We've talked a lot about the grass fed beef and wild fish and collagen is something I have all of my prenatal clients taking. Yes. Um, Coconut oil, duck fat, things we've really kind of gone over before, avocados, olive oil, you have to keep that up, keep your hydration up like we talked about last week. And then you will have the ammunition, right? Because you've been building this health for 38 to 42 weeks and you have to keep it up because you know you're not done, you have to breastfeed and how much energy that takes. Yes. And so this same philosophy goes for breastfeeding okay. because you're gonna be burning an extra three to 500 calories when you're breastfeeding. So you need to replace those calories. And if you do it with empty calories, you're gonna have brain fog and no energy and your baby isn't gonna be quite as happy And you're either. not gonna enjoy it, it's gonna be miserable. <laughs> it's gonna be miserable and you don't get this time back. Right, so, yeah. Yeah, that's important. And then the other nutrients that you take, you wanna increase your vitamin C, which we have over here. So when you're in postpartum, after you have baby, you increase your vitamin C so that you can strengthen your adrenal glands, which are the gas tank of the body. In your late 30s and early 40s, that's gonna be your key focus because it can take six months to two years to get back to where you were before pregnancy. So we wanna cut that time in half. Very good. Willow, talk a little mm -hmm. bit more about what you need to keep in mind, especially right after you've given birth. Sure, well it starts before you give birth. So in your third trimester, you really wanna prepare for that postpartum period. You end up looking, as soon as the baby comes out, at food, going grocery shopping, cooking. So how can you prepare beforehand? We can set up meal trains and plans so that all your friends and family, the village you create, can start making you food and dropping that off so you don't have to worry about this nutrition and cooking and all this extra time while you have this new baby. Um, it's gonna really help set it up also on how you're gonna receive visitors. Mm -hmm. You can beforehand say, you know, we're gonna have a nice moment and quiet time with baby getting to know our new family member and we'll invite you over when we're ready so that you're not overwhelmed. You have no idea mm -hmm. if baby's colicky or if it's uncomfortable, you're not quite sure, um, so that you can invite them in when you're ready and you don't have to feel as overwhelmed. And then we also have um, some nutritional supplements and homeopathics to help you with some of those uncomfortable things postpartum. So yeah. the top four are usually soreness right after birth, constipation, hemorrhoids, and possible breast problems with breastfeeding such as mastitis. I have my favorite homeopathic remedies for postpartum, which are rescue remedy, hemimellis for constipation. I'm so people sure. can see them. Oh, perfect. Yes. Yeah, these are them right here. Yes. Um, so Arnica Montana, a great one for post any surgery or any trauma, and I don't want to call birth trauma, but it's mm -hmm. just, you go through a lot physically with mm -hmm. the body. Sure. And Arnica is wonderful afterwards. Um, hemimellis for, um, for uh, hemorrhoids, which is wonderful. It's made from witch hazel and rescue remedy just to calm and really reset you overall. We also, rescue remedy. Correct. Okay, perfect. So they're safe and natural. You don't have to worry about any interactions, and you can find those at any health food store. It's One just thing that's going to blow people's mind, mm -hmm. yeah. if you haven't heard of it, <laughs> is that some okay. women in pill form after giving birth will actually consume the placenta. And you actually, these yes. are the pill forms? Yeah. This is them right this here, actually. Okay, yes. Right here. So that is dehydrated placenta, mm -hmm. ground up and put in a pill, so it's easy for consumption. So what is the placenta? It's the organ that is developed while you're pregnant to feed and give all the nutrients to baby. 
after that's released, your body is then without this hormone-making organ. So in that transition time, when your body's having to fill back up and get back to work, you can do it this that way. bioidentical hormone is going to help give you all that energy that you're going to need. Ladies, thank you. We really, really appreciate it. Krista, by the way, offers online coaching on her website. The whole journey, we've posted a link on our website's Seen On tab. And uh, you can get more information from Willow as well uh, by going to our website. Ladies, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Right, thank you. All right, Raul, back over to you. All right, thank you all very much. Appreciate it.